That was Just One Look by Linda Ronstadt, and I played it straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with this video. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. In just a moment, I'll do a basic tutorial covering everything I just played. At the very end, I'll do a slow motion close-up play along that you might find helpful. But right now, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. If you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want over a thousand more free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each with a link to its own free video tutorial and play along, just like this one, then check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. Okay, now, uh, the intro, I like the way this worked. And uh, this isn't the original key, but it worked really well on ukulele. And it's not hard, not hard at all, really. Let me show you. So here's, I'm gonna start with the, uh, the intro. And again, if you're a beginner, you could just do, you could just do G, D, G, D. You could just do that. And in fact, let me show you the strum I did throughout the song uh, first, because uh, if you're a beginner, then you don't care about the intro. But <laughs> here we go. So down, up, chuck. Yes, this has an up chuck in it. Down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck. That's it. Down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck, up. Just wanna look, and I feel so hot. Right, that's it, that's all I'm doing. A chuck, by the way, I'm forming a G. It's where you run all your fingernails across the strings, but you drop your palm on the string so quickly that you can't even tell what chord. Right? <laughs> Except I screwed up the last one. <laughs> you can't tell what chord I'm forming, but it does a percussive thing, right? That's what a chuck is. It adds a little percussion. I don't have a drummer here, so I need to do my own percussion. And that's what the chuck does for me. And this is a good, uh, if you've never tried chucking before, this is a good song for practicing because the chords aren't crazy difficult. And that way you can uh, you can focus on that chuck if you've never done that before. So now, okay, the intro. Here we go. I'm forming a G, but I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna start out picking up my ring finger. So I only have two fingers down because uh, my first two plucks. By the way, my right hand. I only have four strings. I don't need my pinky. So I got an assigned finger on each of the strings. If you're wondering, oh, what, what? finger am I using to pluck? Well, I'm only going to pluck two strings. That's it. But it's the assigned fingers. The middle two fingers are going to do the middle two strings. And then I'm going to drop that G. That's it. That's the first start. That's the first measure. And then it's, the, it's just a G, but I want to hear this. I want to hear that, so here's how I do that. So it's my pinky first, down on the second fret there. And then I slide my ring finger up. So that's technically, that's a D suspended fourth, but I'm not worried about that. It's just, I'm kind of playing with the melody while playing a D. That's what I'm doing. And then back to a G. And then sort of the outro of the intro. Right, that's what I want to hear. So I drop the pinky, pick it up, slide the ring finger, and slide it back. And that's it. 
and it will you will play that as it as the outro too so if you learn it you get to play it twice in the same song so uh now as far as the chord transitions so we were going from g to d right your ring finger kind of is the continuity between those two it's just sliding one fret down that's it you've got the g and then back to the g and back to the g you slide it's still your ring finger hasn't hasn't uh picked up off the ukulele yet it's just been sliding back and forth so now just one look and i fell so hard <laughs> okay i screwed up just now but drop your pinky on that third string and that's your e minor normally i do an e minor like this right but i already have this in there so all i have to do is drop a pinky and i got my e minor I don't even bother picking up my index finger. I could, but I don't bother. I've just got a G and I drop the pinky. Just one look. And I fell so hard in love. Now, you can do, if you want, you can just do an open C. But I liked the way it, I liked hearing it step up the, uh, step up the, the fretboard a little bit. So... I did this sort of alternate C. I call it an alternate because I think of this as your first position. This is your open C. And then I think of this as the second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like that. Um, but so I think of this as the second, but this is also a full C. I'm just only, I'm, I'm not covering the G string. And yes, I'm playing a low G. My dog has fleas, but... I would play this the same way uh, on a high G. I would, I would. I think it would sound really good. So do it. So I'm going, I'm using this alternate C, but you can use the C of your choice. And then I like the way it sounds going, stepping up. So I use this D. I'm barring the second fret, dropping a pinky. But again, you can use a D if you want. Here is what it sounds like if you just do use an open C and D. Just one low. It's the right chord, but I like the way you it sounds if you go with you. Oh, oh, like it's stepping up. Each line is stepping up. Just one look. Oh, 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 love you. Oh. Anyway, you get to do it four times in uh, the first two verses, right? That same pattern of four chords. You get to do four times and then you go right back to the G. We're my only one. Oh, 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 oh. And then you're gonna go, and I am using an open C here. I thought I was dreaming. So from the G, I you can either roll out your ring finger, right? Just like that. Or you can slide your middle finger up. I think I usually slide my middle finger up. I think just because it's a small, stronger finger, I don't know. But you could do it either way. Uh, so. I thought I was dreaming, but I was wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then I'm back to the C, and then that second position D again. Making my own. And then verse 3 is the same. The outro is just part of it. G, C, D, G, C, D, over and over and over again, with one exception. In the finale, um, this little two lines of instrumental in between the outro and, well, excuse me, in between, well, yeah, in between the outro and the finale, outro, whatever, the, the final intro. Um, so it's just, just one look, that's all it took, now the finale. That's what I'm doing. I just do, it's the G, and then that alternate C, and then I, I form, you know, a full second position C, and I'm just sliding up the frets, that's it. Sliding up from a C, 
C sharp to D. And back to my standard. And back to doing the intro again. Now, this is a pretty good short song, so I think I'm going to go <coughs> go ahead and play the entire thing. Oh, also because it's great and I'm not tired of it. I'm going to play the entire thing in slow motion, close up on my chord changing hand. You can follow along if you like. Here goes now. Let's see. Get a little better view here. Here we go. Sorry for blocking Linda there. All right. Five, six, seven. See you Wednesday, bye.